Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Quick View Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a Quick View Learner, and in this video, I will talk about uh, one of the options that we get in bar chart is trellis. So, in short, it can be called as trellis bar chart. So, as you can see, a trellis bar chart shows a bar chart repeated over a similar dimension. So for example, our main dimension is uh, the sales wraps and the ear. So this bar chart is repeated over the sales wrap in these different four sections and an expression which is the sum of sales. So if I will need to repeat, uh, we are showing the different bar charts for different uh, uh, sales wraps for their three last three years which is 2011, 2012 and the current year which is 2013. So in this way uh, it will help you to quickly analyze how different sales reps are doing. So if I have more than four sales reps I can produce the information of those four sales reps. Apart from sales reps if you have some geographies like four different countries or 10 different countries if you want to analyze their information you can quickly create a bar chart of trellis and analyze their situation as they will be repeated over a similar dimensions will help you quickly analyze how they are, how your business is doing over different geographies or by different sales reps all right so let's now remove this and see how we can create the trellis bar chart from the scratch. For this let's right click on the chart and uh, click on remove. Okay and before we start creating the chart uh, this is just to show you how the data will be for the trellis bar chart. So we can see this uh, we have the year dimension the three years data, the sales reps repeating over different years and the respective sales in the different years. Alright, so let's right click on the blank space, go to new sheet object and click on the chart. Alright, and uh, let's select the bar chart uh, which will have uh, the trellis option. So but for now we'll click on the bar chart and click on the next. So the option we will going to select is the sales wrap and the year. All right. So now the base dimension will be sales wrap. We will uh, demote this to make it a base dimension. And above to that, uh, you have the year dimension, which will be for uh, x axis. Now let's see uh, when the chart will create. But for now, um, click on the trellis option which you will find in this dimension uh, section. So you click on trellis and you say enable trellis chart. You will make it as auto and then we can adjust according to our requirement. Click OK and again click on next. For expression we will enter sum and the brackets. We will say sales, sum of sales. Okay, and let's give this chart the name as a bar chart trellis. Trellis. All right. For now, let's click on finish and see how the values are coming. Okay. So our values are not coming properly. We probably need to adjust the uh, dimension. For that, let's right click on the properties and uh, we need to switch our dimension so let's demote this to make it x-axis apply okay all right so let me quickly uh, increase the height so that you can see the values clearly perfect okay now you can see the different sales wrap are coming uh, in four different sections which uh, we need for our trellis bar chart but uh, the information as you can see this um, I think this is 3 million 2 million and 1 million this information is pretty much not standard 
So let's make it a standard by formatting the numbers. And for this, we will right click on the chart, go to properties and uh, let's go to the number format tab and bar chart tell us it is expression name. We will click on integer to make it an integer value and give it a symbol uh, like this is a dollar symbol, thousand symbol K, million symbol M and billion symbol B. So let's give it a symbol which is dollar, thousand is K, million is M, billion is B. B. Click on apply and OK. Now you can see which is uh, the values has shrinked and now coming properly on the chart. So M symbol indicates it is a million, 30 million, 20 million and 10 million. So in this way you can see how uh, the irregularities or the differences between the different chart. Uh, it is clearly visible that Richard Jones is far behind than Matthew Ronald, Paolo Baker and Steve Black where Paolo is uh, heading the uh, or the number one among these different sales reps. So in this way you can create a trellis bar chart and um, uh, figure out the, uh, the differences or the irregularities between different data points. So I hope uh, you will find this video useful and I will meet you in the next video with a new chart. Till then, bye.